Hello, Omar. My name's Amy. May I examine you? Yes. I'm going to position your arms. I'm going to touch your arms with some cotton wool. Could you look up for me? Could you tell me when you feel me touch you? Test light yeah. touch with a wisp of cotton wool and ask yeah. the patient to respond to each touch. Yes. Time the stimuli irregularly and make a dabbing motion yes. rather than stroking or tickling. Yes. Test the dermatome systematically yes. and compare sides. Yes. Does that feel the same on both sides? Yes. 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 Use a fresh neurological pin, not a hypodermic needle, to test pain sensation. I'm now going to gently touch you with a pin. Do you feel this as sharp? Yes. And this as dull? Yes. Please say yes when you feel me touch you with this as sharp. Testing yes. the C5 dermatome. Yes. C6. Yes. C6 again. Yes. Yes. T1. Yes. Yes. C6. Yes. yes. C7. Yes. yes. And C8. Yes. Next, test temperature. Use a cold metallic object like the tuning fork. Do you feel this as cold? Yes. And here? More sophisticated assessment here. using tubes of water at controlled temperatures is possible, but is seldom performed. Use the flat base of the tuning fork to test vibration sense. Can you feel this vibrating? Yes. Test on the distal bony prominences. Can you feel it here? Yes. And is it vibrating? Yes. If sensation is absent, work proximally. Can you feel it here? Yes. And is it vibrating? Yes. Next, test proprioception or joint position sense. Demonstrate first with the patient's eyes open. Look at your finger. This way is up and this way is down. Please close your eyes and tell me which way I'm moving your finger. Up. Hold the digit at the sides to avoid giving information from pressure. I'm going to do the same with the other hand. Again, I'll show you. This is up and this is down. Test the distal interphalangeal joint of the middle finger. If sensation is impaired, move to more proximal joints in each limb. Test two-point discrimination using an opened-out paper clip. Ask the patient to look away and apply either one or two points to the pulp of the patient's forefinger. Can you tell me whether I'm touching your finger with two points or with one? Two. One. Test both the middle fingers and the thumbs. One. You can adjust two. the distance between the two points to determine the minimum separation that is resolved. One. One. Two. Next, we test stereognosis, tactile recognition of familiar objects. Please close your eyes. I'm going to place an object in your palm. Please tell me what it is. A coin. That's good. And this? Key. This and the subsequent examinations should be performed on both hands. For brevity, we show only the right. Test for graphesthesia, the ability to identify a figure traced on the skin. Please close your eyes and tell me the number. Use an orange stick or blunt pencil. It. Open your eyes. This is your index, your middle, your ring and your little finger. 
Please close your eyes and tell me which finger I'm touching. This tests the ability to point localize. Difficulty identifying the touched finger is called finger agnosia. Index. Little. Test for sensory inattention. Keeping your eyes closed, which side am I touching you on? Left. Right. Both. Open your eyes. Thank you.